everyone, this is Victoria from Pivotal Financial and today I'd just like to share three tips on how to buy a property and the order of which to do them. Um, super important that you do it in order. And uh, this is just a quick general info sort of video. If you're looking for specific advice, please feel free to let me know. Uh, you can ask via email, message, phone, whatever's easiest for you and I'd be more than happy to help. Tip number one, uh, that is to check your borrowing capacity. Uh, the equation that I like to use is uh, purchase price equals loan plus deposit. Uh, so when you figure out what your borrowing capacity is, um, it takes a little bit less guesswork out of figuring out uh, what purchase price you know, maximum you could buy based on the loan that you can achieve and also the deposit. Um, so I like to give a range as a mortgage broker because lender A will give you something different from lender B, whether it be higher or lower. So it's really good to kind of see where you sit in that sort of range, um, which leads me to my next tip, which is number two, deposit, the second part of the equation. Um, it's good to figure out the loan amount first because what, what I find happens is people pick an arbitrary number for a purchase price such as uh, I want to buy a property for 500000 and then uh, they end up saving a 20% deposit which is uh, usually the amount that lenders mortgage insurance does not apply so anything less than 20% uh, so that's 5% 10% lenders mortgage insurance will usually be charged and for a super oversimplified uh, explanation of what lenders mortgage insurance is or LMI it's pretty much an insurance charge by the banks for having less than a 20% deposit. Uh, so let's just say for this example, uh, you've picked $500,000 for your purchase price. Uh, you saved 20% deposit, which is $100,000. So you know you need $400,000 loan to complete the purchase. Um, so what happens is uh, you could go to a bank and you know you need 400,000, but they end up giving you 350,000. Uh, that's a super stressful, situation to be in you'll either need to find another lender that will give you more or come up with the extra deficit of that 50,000 uh, because they won't give you the whole amount or you could um, cancel the contract if you have a finance clause and you're able to do so so it's a stressful situation that can be avoided and it's also a little disappointing um, to have that roadblock in your property journey um, it, it's something that you can overcome for sure but it is um, something that you want to avoid where possible so that's something that I'd like to um, stress is you know checking the borrowing capacity first it helps eliminate uh, most of those I guess um, concerns of uh, uh, concerns of knowing whether or not the bank will actually approve the amount that you need um, lastly this is certainly overlooked by a lot of clients because a lot of people don't know much about it but last tip, which is number three, uh, is checking your credit score. Um, this can be done for free sometimes. Um, you can just you know, do online checking, uh, check my credit score. Um, and your credit score is pretty much like a report card of the last five years um, of all the credit that you've inquired for. So that's personal loans, credit cards, home loans, car loans, um, and sometimes, you know, even those afterpay, open pay, zip pay, you have to be careful of those. Sometimes they can go in your credit uh, report as well and affect your score. Because what happens is every time you inquire for finance or credit, uh, your score goes down. And that is a factor um, that the banks look at when approving your application. So I thought I'd just quickly throw that in there in case a lot of people don't know about it. Um, I hope this video is helpful. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me. If you like the video or you want to hear other topics, um, definitely feel free to let me know in the comments or you can message me. And yeah, I'd be more than happy to help and uh, best of luck on your property buying journey.